Charlie. No truth in it, you said. You wouldn't go there. He's been using us. Shut up! You just shut up, because I'll remember you're still here. Get out. Oh, one question. You and him. Is it still going on? No. You see, I had to ask her, Phil. Because everything that comes out of your mouth is just one rotten lie. Look, Shirley. <laughs> It is the most romantic thing you have ever done. Well, I'm going to say it ain't me. It did go rather well, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, getting down on my knee like that, you. <laughs> I've, I've got to go back, though. All right, well, look, we're done. Come on, yeah. How long's it been going on, Phil? Just a few months. Oh, what, are you so loved up that all the weeks they merge together? How long? Tail end of November. All through Christmas. Through your heart attack. Oh no. You were with her, weren't you, when you had your heart attack? No, of course I wasn't. When did it finish? A few weeks ago. Look, I, I don't know what to say, Shirley. It, it, it didn't mean anything, right? It wasn't enough for you, was I, Phil? You had to have two women on the go. Or was it three or four? I mean, it's hearts you got knocking about. No one else, all right? But there is, Phil. There's Glenda. You were seeing her when I was looking after your son and Jay. Doing stuff because I thought... I thought we had a future. Dealing with the booze and the crack. Because I believed in you. And what, what did you believe in? The only thing you believed in is getting your next fix with a geriatric Barbie. Well, what did you expect? I, me and I. And you you knew what you was taking on, didn't you? Look, hit me again, if you want. All right, have a rant. Get it out of your system. But it's over between me and Glenda. It's you that I want. I mean, you're the one I'm getting married to tomorrow. So, so throw things, shout, whatever it takes. But we both know that we're going to get through this. Because we belong together. Hold on. You can't come in here. Well, clearly I can. What do you want? It's more a question of what you want, Ian. I don't want anything from you. Not anymore, you don't. But there's something else you don't want from me, isn't there? You don't want me telling little wifey about us, do you? Oh, look, I, I gave you the ticket to Paris. I think I'm entitled to a bit more than a cheap flight. Oh, oh I'll, I'll, I'll get you some spending money, then. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Ian. In fact, it's the only thing I like about you. You're ruled by money. How much? This isn't blackmail, but <clears throat> needs must. I said, how much? 5,000 should be enough to make a fresh start away from all this. No way! Have it for me in the hour, and I promise you will never hear from me again. You stay with me. Yeah, of course. She's going to come back for her stuff. I don't want to be alone with her. I don't get it, what happened? You must really hate me. You know, Veronica, I have tried so hard with you. But you are impossible to get close to. Isn't that right, Jack? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Glenna, because I'm, I'm pretty close to my wife. Don't kid yourself. Just 